Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 23rd April. Before we start the market analysis, there are two important points I want to discuss which are impacting the market a lot. Imagine you are going on a vacation and leave the gas or water running behind you and you won't be back for two months. The first issue is related to the Mauritius tax treaty. It has been left hanging. Income tax department has clarified that this has not been ratified. However, FIIs have just been selling ever since this was announced. The net outflow, which is total sell minus total buy, is around $3 billion already. And we have one more week to go in this month. This theory of DIA soaking the supply of FIIs does not hold true. For a trade deficit country, FII money means a lot. The rupee is already low. It may head to 90 if this flow does not stem. Also, local investors do not have a strong heart. They can't stand blood on the street. The theory of retail putting in money every month from their salaries holds true only till the market is going up. Post-pandemic market has not paused. It has in general given some breaks, but those breaks have hardly been one week long and retail could not even make up their minds in that small time. Imagine what will happen in the market if FIIs reduce their participation a lot and DIs say get half of the flows they are getting. The P's, the volumes, the prices, they will come crashing down. The second issue is windfall tax. This was announced I think around 14th or 15th of the month. Now crude prices have started correcting. They have already corrected by about 5 or 6 dollars per barrel. Let's start with market action now. Markets had a rough day today but with a positive bias. When Reliance and HDFC Bank both are down, it is very difficult for market to find its feet and a direction. This is precisely what was happening today. Overall Nifty closed with about 0.15% gain. Last three days have been green which is good news. Bank Nifty wise, HDFC Bank is dragging it down. Literally no change in the indice for today. S&P and Nasdaq after a lot of bad days had a good day yesterday. Lot of short covering, both of them closed with nearly 1% gains. FIDIA data is not out. However, FIs would have sold only today. I don't expect they would have bought. There is no trigger for them to change the trend and start buying. DIs would have bought somewhere closer to what is a net buying figure of FIs. Bitcoin is hovering around 65, 66,000. This will get into a rally again as soon as the uncertainty comes up again. Gold has come under profit booking 70,600. The rally has paused for now. It will resume next week. Brent is stable around 86. While the index was undecided where to go, the VIX actually came down a lot. Note that VIX has gone up significantly in this month. I think it was around 11 levels in the beginning of the month. For investors and buyers, less volatility is good. Reliance came under heavy profit booking. It was supposed to go up today. However, there were two points with Reliance. One was it is at lifetime high and a lot of investors and traders wanted to book profits. Second, Brent has fallen. The war is not happening. So Reliance, just like most oil companies, is under a little pressure right now. Reliance and TCS both are nearing their 52-week high. ATEL also is nearing 52-week high. ICIC Bank is inching towards 52-week high. HDFC Bank is inching towards 52-week low. ATEL has been up for last four days, telcos in general were on fire today. Let's analyze the sector a little more today. Telecom went through the roof today like I mentioned. Bharti Airtel up 3.45%. That's a nifty top 5 stock. Vodafone up 11.63%. Tata Teleservices up 9.27%. In fact, there is one more company which does not appear in this list. It is aligned with the software sector and hence it does not get noticed too much. Tanla platforms. Let's check how Tanla is doing. Six months wise, actually it has not gone anywhere. It did go up, but it corrected significantly. 25% down from the top. So this is again one stock which could go up a lot if telecommunication sector continues to rally. One thing I have noticed is in telcos, the P is right now already at 72.2. There are talks of ARPU revision upwards. However, it can't go up infinitely. I have no idea how this high PE will get justified. But again, Bharti Airtel has been at high PE mostly throughout its life and especially last few years, it has been in this 80 to 100 zone all the time. Maybe the finance angle where Bharti could earn more money from the payment side, I don't think it will make that much material difference to the market cap of Bharti. Specialty retailers was up a lot as well. Aditya Birla fashion, which is being hyped off 10% up. Aditya Birla capital was up 7% as well. Mama Earth was up 8%. Let's check the weighted performance ones especially dealers top telecom second pharma was down let's check pharma ones all top three sun pharma cipla drl were down especially sun pharma 3.6 percent let's check nifty 50 reliance down sun pharma down mahindra and mahindra down that mahindra and mahindra is down mostly because of mahindra and mahindra finance which came under pressure today there is some sort of fraud which has happened in a branch 
In fact, they cancelled their results today. They will give a new date. Select stocks did well. Bharati, Krasim, Titan, Tata Motors. However, not too many big towers today on red or green sides besides select stocks. Bank Nifty, HDFC down. Bank of Badoda down a bit. PNB, Indescent all down a bit. SBI went up 1%. Bandhan Bank was up yesterday as well. ICIC has been crawling up slowly. Index 50, IOC down, Siemens down, Zomato down. It was up a lot in the last few days. ABB was downgraded by ICI Securities down 3.5%. It is among the biggest players in the electrical equipment segment. So Nifty, Next 50 did better than Nifty 50. There are more greens on next 50 side. Let's check cement pack once again. There seems like cement did well. All right, we are at cement. Grasim up, Ambuja up, ACC up. Overall, the top five are up 1.55%. Interestingly, Grasim and Ambuja are at 52 week high. Ultra Tech and ACC are not far off. Our my trades doing today was slightly better day. Vodafone went through the roof. It was up 14% at one point of day. It turned green today. REC, there is still a lot of losses. Based upon the momentum in telcos, today I bought Indus Tower. Earlier, I was an investor in Indus Tower, but then it was sulking for a long time. I exited. These days, one philosophy I have changed is I now don't go by how much a stock has already run. If it's in momentum and if I want to trade, I go long still. Earlier, I used to short the stock if it has already gone up three, four times and that created a lot of losses for me in general. If something is in the flavor and favor, then ride the tide, go long, not short. Markets are looking positive right now. No negative cues in general visible. Negative news could come from US maybe or Iran-Israel war. India-wise, there's one thing which is happening in the result season. A lot of results are appearing week on a year-on-year -year basis. This is something I've said multiple times that last year was an exceptional year. Any quarter-on-quarter -quarter or year-on-year -year comparison with previous year or same quarter of previous year is unfair and those comparisons if negative do not hold too much value. In fact, if P's have gone up based upon last year's number, that's actually gonna get corrected which we saw in the case of persistent also yesterday. Persistent saw some buying return today. Volumes were high today also. There was a report on money control which said that everything is good except the valuation. This is the same thing which I said yesterday that the P's are very high and no longer justified by the growth rate. However, some of the brokerages are saying the targets are 3700. 4150. So I would probably hold on to my positions on persistent, will not lower them down, but hold. US markets have opened in the green. Tomorrow looks like a good day as well coming up. There could be stock specific ups and downs. Our broader indices should do well and continue their move up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.